In this MMP1 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the channel strips along with the Q sources to create a Q mix for headphones for a talent to use in the studio. So let's take a look. The MMP1 has eight channel strips here. Each of these channel strips can have an audio source, uh, maybe it be a microphone from the studio or uh, the output of an instrument, a keyboard, something like that. And they can be processed with EQ and compression and uh, everything you would expect on a uh, professional console. So we can actually process those signals and then mix them back into headphones for the talent to use as a cue mix. Um, you can also record those signals too as a separate path. So this is how to route the signals to the cue outputs uh, so that you can create a cue mix for people to use. So we have the eight channel strips, but before we'll actually be able to hear these channel strips in the QMix, we need to go to the Monitor Matrix tab. Now, when you first get to the Monitor Matrix, um, you can see all the uh, uh, sources over here, the external monitor sources, including the QSENs, and then the outputs up here, the main monitor output, and then the two QSENs in this case, and two studio speaker sends. Uh, in this configuration. There, of course, can be more. The channel strips are located at the very bottom of the monitor matrix. They are the last eight um, strips, the last eight lines in the monitor matrix here. And what we can do is assign channels to Q outputs like this. Now, one thing to note in the Q mixer, there is a pan control. So if you want to be able to pan those individual channels within the, uh, the Q mix, the headphones, um, we have to assign either the left or the right channel output of that channel strip to the Q mix. This is how you do it. If you control click or right click on the assignment button, you can assign just the left output of that channel strip to one side and then the right output of that channel strip to the other side to the right output of the QMix. Now if I use the pan control that signal source on that channel strip will pan between the left and right channels of the Q output. So I can continue to do that for all of the channels in the QMixer and so forth and so on. Now I can use all the channels in the QMixer to create um, a, a QMix for people in the studio. Now, that those signals will be mixed together with the Q source input as you've had it defined. In this case, uh, the Q source one is coming from Dante seven and eight, which is an, uh, an output of the Nuendo workstation in this case, but it can come from anywhere. So. You're taking that Q source and then adding in the mix of the channel strips in the MMP1 to it. And that gives you the Q mix. This is a delay free signal path. So um, performers are getting the, the, the best response or the best feedback from their performance. No latency, no delay. And But you can also record those sources after you've processed them with compression EQ or maybe an insert or something like that. Now, once you've created a QMix routing, it can be saved as a, uh, a scene within the configuration. So it's very easy to switch between different types of QMix setups. So again, the system is very flexible and, and it takes some time to configure it. But once you have it configured, save it as a scene, then it's easy to switch back and forth. Let me show you. So if I go to my first QMix preset or scene that I've made here um, and recall that, you can see that all eight channel strips are routed uh, to left and right of the first Q mix output. Okay, and that seems fairly standard. That way, I can go back to the main page. I can use the Q mixer here, pan some signals left and right, adjust their levels until the Q mix is good for the people wearing the headphones. Right? Um, if I go back to the uh, monitor matrix and choose a different scene. If you notice, some of the channel strips are going to Q2 and not to Q1, while others are going to both Qs. So again, you can get pretty sophisticated with the routing of, of, of the channel strips and the Q mixes. Then when I go back to the main page, 
routing channels left and right will affect different cues depending on what the QMix routing is. Again, very easy to save these as scenes. I can switch back and forth between the various QMix configurations. This gives you a lot of flexibility in how you use the MMP1 with a queue system in the studio. Okay, so there you go. That is how you use the channel strips and the queue sources to create queue mixes that go out of the queue outputs of the MMP1 to drive headphone systems for the talent in the studio.